Welcome to the Take Action Volunteer Learning Module. My name is Margaret Dennis, Director of Volunteer Resources for Girl Scouts of Southwest Indiana. Feel free to contact me if you have any questions about the material summarized in this module. I appreciate your time viewing this module to learn about Take Action. This online module is a synthesis of a much longer and complete face-to-face -face learning opportunity developed by GSUSA. In this online shortened module, we will review how the three keys to leadership work together to achieve our promised outcomes. We will review the key factors that define Take Action projects and how they differ from community service. You will gain a better understanding of the roles and responsibilities of girls, volunteers, and council in supporting Take Action projects, as well as how our leadership styles impact the experience. We will not cover Take Action as part of the award process, since we have separate modules for those. But it is important that you understand that the Take Action projects your girls complete to earn journeys prepare them for the Take Action projects they will complete as they earn the Girl Scout highest awards of bronze, silver, and gold. In this module, we will give examples of tools to identifying Take Action projects, but it is strongly suggested that you take the face-to-face -face practical class when it is offered. In those classes, you will get hands-on practice with the tools. So, let's begin. When girls join Girl Scouting, we promise them that they will embark on an incredible leadership experience. We use certain activities and processes to achieve 15 measurable outcomes. The end result? Girls that lead with courage, confidence, and character as they make the world a better place. Discover, Connect, and Take Action are the three keys in our GSLE model, and they are found throughout Girl Scout programs and resources. As girls discover themselves, connect with others, and take action to make a difference, they develop their leadership potential. It is this last key, Take Action, on which we will focus today. Through taking action, girls will learn to identify community needs, sharpen their problem-solving skills, learn to advocate, educate, and inspire, and realize that they can make a difference in the world. The Take Action key and its corresponding outcomes get girls motivated and excited about making an impact in their community that can be felt in the long term. Take Action encourages girls to think bigger and to address problems in such a way that they do not reoccur. And, perhaps most important, a Girls Take Action project changes the world in a meaningful way. When girls get to explore the root of problems and what steps might contribute to lasting change, they envision real result, results and gain confidence in their ability to create lasting change. They think of themselves as leaders who have the opportunity to make a mark. This is true even of Girl Scouting's littlest leaders, the Daisies. Giving girls the opportunity to explore and strive toward lasting change is a great learning experience that stays with them, even if the end result is not all they hoped for. For example, if cadets on the AMAZE journey decide to advocate for a new Board of Education policy that would benefit girls, it would be wonderful if that policy were adopted. But even if it is not, what the cadets did was important. They spoke up and networked, and now they understand what it takes to influence change. To have an effective Take Action project, girls must first find out what the community needs. Girls will learn how to identify the root cause of the issue they choose to address. In addition, girls will undoubtedly face roadblocks during their projects, which means they will need to come up with creative ways to solve the problems that arise. And remember, a root cause is the origin of the problem. Take Action always attempts to identify the root of a problem, instead of simply addressing the symptoms. As they learn about the issues in their community and work to solve them, girls stand up for issues they believe in influence policy, and identify ways to continue their projects into the future. Girls educate others about issues that are important to the community and inspire others to act. Girls develop leadership skills and use the knowledge they gain through their experiences to improve their community and the world. Like so many other areas of Girl Scouting, Take Action increases in complexity 
from the youngest grade levels to the oldest. Here are some examples. The daisies might just be able to name valued community people and places, while ambassadors will actually be able to conduct in-depth interviews and engage local and global partners when taking action. While it will be obvious how our communities will benefit from our taking action, and you may recognize many of the incredible benefits that the girls receive as they feel empowered and develop leadership skills, perhaps you haven't thought of how our volunteers benefit, and even the council. But before we go further, let's define what is a Take Action Project and how it is different from community service. Community service projects are a great way to help others and are still needed in Girl Scouting. But a Journey Take Action project takes that concept even further to make a longer lasting impact. And when the girls work on Bronze, Silver, and Gold Award Take Action projects, they take it even further. When thinking of the difference between community service and Take Action projects, a good analogy is to think of the difference between giving a fish and teaching how to fish. The community service project is a one-time effort. You propose a solution to the community without getting their input. You respond to an immediate need. For example, if someone is hungry, you give him food. With the Take Action project, you take time to identify the root cause of the problem, and you work with the community to find a solution. The Take Action Project has long-term benefits and has a global impact and lasts after your involvement. In other words, your project is helping your community with the base of the problem. Now let's look at some critical, critical concepts before looking at examples. When girls pursue Take Action projects, either for their Journey Awards or Highest Awards, they take times to identify and understand the root cause of the issue they are addressing. Girls discuss how to make the project sustainable and how to make the impact measurable. Means Measurable means the success of the project can be measured in concrete terms, such as the number of people the project helped, the number of people who were involved, or any reduction in the community's need. Sustainable means that the advocacy that the project is highlighting will continue past the girl's direct involvement in the project. The scope will depend on the age level. For example, at minimum, juniors learn what advocacy means. Cadets understand how their project could be sustainable and try to make arrangements to ensure that the project creates lasting change and is not a one-time event. Seniors and ambassadors will ensure that their advocacy and project will continue on once they are gone by putting a set plan in place. Let's review some of those important concepts as you consider Take Action. The first is measurability. When you have clear goals, and you have a way to know that you have reached them, then a project is measurable. You and the girls will need to consider how they will know they succeeded. So during your planning phase, be sure to answer how the success of the project will be determined, as well as how to measure that impact. There are many ways to do this, but you will want to consider it ahead of time so that you can plan for it. The next concept to keep in mind is sustainability. When you know and make arrangements for the project to continue after your involvement, then the project is sustainable. Have you ever seen a project or program that someone did and it has been neglected so it no longer serves the original purpose? Most times it is because it did not address the root cause or a plan was not put in place to ensure it continued. Many times the advocacy will be an education component or partnering with another organization so they will continue the plan of work. Remember, you want to ensure that the project creates lasting change and is not a one-time event. And the third concept relating to all Take Action projects is globality. First, define what your community is. For younger girls, it might be their school or neighborhood. Or for a senior or ambassador troop, it will obviously be larger. High schoolers will even want to research what others outside the community have found out about the issue they are addressing. Reflect how every community is interconnected with the region, country, and the whole world. 
Remember, your community is not isolated from the rest of the world. And even a small change could have a ripple on. It's not unique to your own community. Let's put these concepts together and look at some examples of community service and take action. For example, holding a book drive to collect books for your local library could be a great community service. You can help the library increase their collection, assuming they can use the books you collect, but it is not addressing any root You will no longer hear beats until someone else joins the mobility. conference. But think of how much more of an impact you can have when you work with your community to look at the root cause and issue. Now, by looking at the possible causes of low literacy, you can partner with other groups such as the library or school corporation to make a sustaining difference. Holding a clothes drive to collect clothes and household goods for an uninsured family whose house was destroyed by fire is a great community service, but it is a one-time fix that helps only that family at that particular time. By working with your community to look at the root cause and issue, you may discover that there is no resource for families facing crisis. Or perhaps you want to address why the fire happened. Is there a fire prevention program in your community? Can you work with local fire department to develop a program in the schools and work with the local business to provide smoke detectors for low-income households? Now that you have a better understanding of what Take Action is and isn't, let's look at the roles we all play. As you know, Girl Scouting is girl-led, so it is important to know what role the girls have compared to yours. The girls should take ownership of the Take Action project. As volunteers, you will work with and inspire a girl or team of Girl Scouts to make a difference in their community. You encourage girls to think critically, be open to multiple perspectives, investigate thoroughly, work cooperatively, and identify resources within and beyond their local community. In so doing, you are preparing girls for a lifetime of caring about others in their community and the world. Councils play a very important role in the award process, providing a reliable support system for girls and volunteers. Before you begin to guide girls to lead, you may benefit from exploring your own leadership. The four-player model shows four distinct kinds of action that a person can take in any group interaction. Some people direct, that is, they initiate ideas and offer direction. Other people support, they complete what is said, help others clarify their thoughts, and support what is happening still up more than one of these roles, or move from one role to another, even in the same group interaction. Take a moment to reflect on these roles and consider which one you typically take on. Consider when the roles are played well and when not, and understand how they might use these roles to facilitate the Girl Scout processes, girl-led, cooperative learning, and learning by doing. There are obviously pros and cons of each role. By identifying our leadership styles, we can better use this knowledge to support girls in Girl Scout activities. Make sure to keep those processes, girl-led, cooperative learning, and learning by doing, front and center. For clear and easily understandable definitions of these Girl Scout processes, See the what plus how creating a quality experience or how girls have fun in Girl Scouting pages of any Journeys adult guide. Another great resource is the reflection questions given in every Journey adult guide. So far, we have reviewed why Take Action is important and what it means and how you as an adult volunteer can help the girls take leadership in the process. Let's take a quick look at some tools that you can use. Community mapping is a great tool and can be accomplished in various ways. Community mapping helps girls identify the sweet spot of intersection between community needs, their own interests, and realistic opportunities for improvement. 
community mapping also gives girls a way to find resources and networking possibilities in the community. In the face-to-face -face module, you will get hands-on practice with this tool. Community mapping is a way of highlighting a community's assets, people, things, services, organizations, and businesses. A leader, be it girl or adult, assesses community resources in order to identify community needs and identify assets that might support the project. The key to making a community map is observation. Because a community is made up of people, girls are looking for the things people need to improve their lives. Therefore, the purpose of a community map, regardless of whether a community is rural, urban, or suburban, is for girls to identify the needs in their community and find resources that they can use for the Take Action projects. The aim of community mapping is for girls to find a project they are passionate about and that solves a problem in the community. Let's look at an example of one way community mapping might look. Let's say that you notice there are a lot of car accidents in your community and you want to explore the topic. You might research why car accidents happen. Some causes are distracted drivers, animal in the road, bad weather, signs that are not visible. Each one of these situations happens for other reasons. After looking at all of these causes, you choose one. Next, you brainstorm some organizations in your community that care about that topic or that are working around it. For example, if I choose the poor visibility of signs in the road, what organizations are working in these areas or who could be interested? The police, city, neighborhood association, and maintenance operation departments could be some examples. These organizations could be your community partners or advisors. We have seen just one tool in a very simplistic way that can be used to help develop Take Action Project ideas. But you have more resources available. Did you know that the journey books have plenty of examples and tools, both in the adult guides and the girl books? The GSUSA website also has some great resources to explore, such as other examples of real Take Action projects. Simply visit the For Girls section, the Map It page. You can click to view the map and can read very brief descriptions of what other girls are doing to take action. The map includes ideas for all levels and types of action, Take Action projects. A word to the wise, you should not use this map necessarily to get ideas, rather you should use it to get inspiration and motivation. There are many projects that are difficult to describe in their entirety, so you may not get the full impact of everything that was done to earn a given journey or higher award. For example, just by reading the brief description on this example, you might think that the girl simply built a boardwalk. What is not reflected is the research she did on why a boardwalk was needed and what root issue she was addressing. GSUSA is asking for more project examples to post, so be sure to include your Journey Take Action projects. On our website, we will soon have ideas of local Take Action projects, so be sure to check it out and help us build our database of ideas. And one of the best resources is our own people, your fellow volunteers and the staff at the Council office. So, are you ready to help girls take action and make the world a better place? I hope so, because imagine what a difference our girls can make in the world by their actions and by inspiring others to take action.